AirServer is the most advanced AirPlay receiver for your Mac or PC. Installation is simple, but many PCs do require a few extra installation steps, which we would like to review in this video. This demonstration is on a Windows 8 machine, but the process also applies for other Windows operating systems. First, you will need to download the AirServer installer. To do this, visit our website, airserver.com, and navigate to the Download tab. Here, you can purchase licenses or sign up for a free trial of AirServer. Whether you register for the trial or purchase a license, you will be sent a link to the installer. Click the Download button and run the installer. This is where we run into the first prerequisite. AirServer will require Microsoft's DirectX version 9.0c. This is a collection of APIs and technology designed to make your Windows-based computer an ideal platform for running and displaying applications rich in multimedia elements. The current build of DirectX is 11, but you will need DirectX 9.0c, which has certain protocols that are not available in the latest build. DirectX 9.0c and DirectX 11 can coexist on your computer without any conflicts. Let's go through this installation as it might be a bit tricky. First, follow the link to the DirectX 9.0c installation file. Click the download option. You are now presented with options, but you do not need to select any of these three options. Simply click the button that says no thanks and continue. Save the file on your computer and run the installer. After you accept the terms, you will be asked to select a location to place the extracted files. We would recommend creating a folder for this as there will be many files. For our demonstration, however, we are going to click the Browse button and select our Downloads folder. Once you select the location, click OK. The installer will now extract the DirectX files to the folder you selected. Once this is done, open the folder you selected. You will see a number of files. Don't be too scared by this. Once you are finished with the installation, you can delete these. Look through the folders to find the file called dxsetup. This is the file that will actually install DirectX on your computer. Allow the installer to run, accept the agreement, and continue with the installation. Once this has finished, DirectX will be successfully installed on your machine. Now that we've dealt with the first prerequisite, we can run the AirServer installer once again. Follow the installation instructions and run the installer. Once the installation successfully completes, you will be asked to enter an activation code. This is the code you should have received by email, whether you registered for a free trial or purchased a license. Once your code is entered, click the Activate button. You will likely receive a pop-up window from your firewall software, asking if you would like to allow access for AirServer. Firewalls can block the communication between your iOS device and computer, so you will want to allow access. In our demonstration, we're choosing to allow access on both private and public networks. After your firewall has been configured, you may run into the next prerequisite. Apple Bonjour services are required for wireless communication between your computer and iOS device. If you have iTunes installed, you already have Bonjour. If not, download Bonjour print services for Windows. Click OK to be taken to the download page. Click the download button and run the installer. Follow the instructions to install Bonjour. Allow your computer to continue through the installation by clicking Yes when prompted. Now that Bonjour is installed and running on your computer, you are ready to use AirServer. Your iOS device should now automatically list your computer in all the AirPlay menus. Tap your computer to connect. A window will open on your computer to show your iOS display or your streamed files.